Um, Mr. Uh, Rudy Salam from Indonesia, are you uh, okay? Yes. Uh, Your uh, electricity problem are uh, solved? It? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, dear Huma and Inga, please yes. go ahead. Okay, thank you very thank much, you. Mr. Rudy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Roji. How are you? Good to see you in the emergency, guys. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, Miss. Sorry, the electricity is off until now here in Indonesia. So I use uh, uh, emergency lamp <laughs> to join this <laughs> webinar. Okay, thank you very much for joining us today. We are very glad to have you. Uh, okay, so are you ready, Mr. Roji? Shall we start? Yes, I'm ready. You can start. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I request uh, Inga Chair, please. Yes, start the program. Thank, you. thank you very much. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, very, very good. Okay, hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Inga Harchelava from Georgia. I am very happy that we are again together today my love people. I wish you good luck, everyone, from all over the world. I am very glad to be with you. We are one big international family and we go ahead for success. Our aim is to create a light future. Today, we have very very interesting, successful, wonderful, and amazing person, Mr. Rudy Salam from Indonesia. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. My respect to you. I told you of your success, really. Please share your successful story program us. I wish you good luck. Go ahead. Wow. Okay, Mr. Rodi, now the Thank stage you, is yours. Everyone. Thank you very much. Good evening, all from Indonesia. Good evening. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to explain this about the background of my study and then my background as an international speaker until until now. Okay, I'm Rudy Salam Sinolinga. Nowadays, I'm active as an uh, international speaker, motivator, trainer, and, and lecturer. I start these programs around 10 years ago. Okay, and then I start from becoming as an active participant in many seminars and then join the committee. And after they join as a moderator and then uh, as a speaker. I think this is this, the process that must be passed by me or maybe everyone who needs to become a professional speaker. Based on my experience until now, there are many troubles, there are many experience, there are many problems, but I make it as, a, as the learning process for me to develop my skills. Especially in Indonesia, I think there are many problems, uh, how to develop our skills, but I make it as the process, how to for myself and then how to get the better level in my life. And after that, I joined many community uh, for international levels and then national levels. And then I got many certifications based on my professions, like the hypnotherapy certified public speaker, and then uh, certified for fundamental hypnosis. Because every skills are needed by me to develop my skills. And the problem is, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, there are many limitations for me or maybe for everyone who needs to develop them uh, their skills. So there are many limits how to develop, for example, about the uh, how to conduct the training offline. This is the problem. Maybe before the COVID-19 pandemic uh, happens until today, I can conduct off offline learning or maybe offline training in Indonesia or maybe in many areas in my uh, in Indonesia or especially in Medan City. But during this COVID-19 pandemic, everything is converted to online system. Okay, Be besides I'm active as a trainer and then I also conduct online learning, especially teaching English 
for many levels uh, started from the primary and the professional. So by having many knowledge and skills, I can develop my skills. This is the, what do you say, the positive impact for me. And during this COVID-19 pandemic also, I can develop my skills, especially how to apply uh, blended learning, how to apply international communication technology and many more. And then I can uh, create uh, the, my uh, my international network so until now i have many friends comes from abroad so we must be able to uh, support each other by learning by sharing each other like we do today as a international webinar so everything will be okay i think so hopefully for the young generations especially we can collaborate we can learn from many things so we can mix all the process in our life to develop our skills and then we try to get the best I think also um, during this COVID-19 pandemic, this is not the limitation for us, how to develop our skills. We still have more time to develop our skills by having many knowledge or maybe skills related to our uh, skills. So it can make us better by having potential needed and then we have to develop it. So we make our potential is our identity and then make it as our future by having many skills in our life Hopefully that everything will be okay. And by joining many international webinars until today, I think I, I have had many knowledge and then experience how to design the learning methods, how to build the learning process, how to create the good curriculum and everything is okay. Um, by having many knowledge and that experience, hopefully that it can enlighten me. It can help me to develop how to um acquire language how to develop how to build my network how to communicate well because i'm a certified public speaker so in the 21st century no hopefully problem. there are many skills we need it for example by building our collaboration skills problem solving skills by having good communication skills and critical thinking last night i joined an international webinar and then talked about critical thinking for youth generations so hopefully that by having good communications, we can communicate each other, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, the, the door widely open for us. We can communicate each other, we can teach each other, we can share each other like we do today in this international webinar live from Saudi Arabia. So I think this is the process. We can explore, we can collaborate, we can combine the entities in our lab, how to develop our skills by having good friends and then all of our friends is our strengths, how to develop our skills. So for success, I think this, it, it needs process. So this is not about the result for success, but this is about the process. I think we have to be able to pass all the process in our life to get success, not only the theory about the result. I think this is the second factor, not the first factor, but the first one is we must be able to join the process. By having the skills in our lives, we can develop it and make it as our identity. And then it will help us to develop our future. By having good skills, we can realize, we can reach our success. Success is not only the theory. Sometimes many people say that uh, achieving a success is very hard, but I think it depends on us. Success, generally, this is a simple way how to develop our skills. So success has no measurements. I think if, if I can eat something deliciously, this is my success. When I, when I can talk about something in this, in this international webinar, I think this is about the, the success. And when I can teach my students online and by having good results, and this is all, also we call as a success. So success means this is the process, how to get what we want, how to be happy, how to be able to help others in, front, in our surrounding. In Indonesia, especially due, during this COVID-19 pandemic, there are many problems, how to solve the problem, but let we uh, spread the positive impact positively. So how to make it happen? The first one is by having uh, skills, the second one, please develop it. And the third one is please innovate. And the fourth one, you will get your success. But when we're achieving the success, this is not the last, the last step. We have to be able to manage all the, all the, uh, all the process and then how to develop our success becomes higher and better. So for our 
for our identity, success is realized from the process, from everything we, we have in our lives. For your generations also, by having good communication, especially by having good English proficiency, I think this is one of the steps how to develop our skills. So um, according to our topic, uh, tell, uh, talking about my, my success. So I think my success is smaller than the others, but I think the success like uh, the make as uh, the definition is when I can get what I want and when I can be happy, this is about, this is uh, my success shortly. So hopefully for the youth generations and also all my friends come from different countries, we can collaborate each other. By mastering many skills, we can add our knowledge, we can add our skills and many more it can be it can be our identity so let's start from today our success depends on our actions today so let's make our success as the process to get happy 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 happiness and happiness and identity in our lives i think that's all i can, I, I will okay we back to our moderator okay hello Mr. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yes. Okay, excellent. Oh my God, really, very impressive. Uh, your thank introduction. You. We have right now. Thank you. You're you're most welcome. Okay, so starting um, from the beginning, uh, I have a lot of things to discuss with you today. You are a hypnotherapist too, and uh, of course you are a lecturer also. I have a so plenty of questions regarding hypnotherapy also. So I yes. hope our listeners and followers have a lot of things in their mind to discuss with you to get the knowledge from your side. But first thing what I want to know is uh, regarding your personal uh, life. It means that I'm going to start the question from your life. Uh, that kindly share uh, by taking all the such types of stuff, by doing your lecturing courses, by doing your hypnotherapy course, courses, by doing the different, different webinars you have achieved, as you already uh, told us uh, just now. So I would love to know if you want to share with us that uh, what was your biggest challenge regarding uh, in your complete journey? What was your biggest challenge that uh, you can pop up with up and uh, you have to stand up with this? that this okay i have to move on from this and now i will going to achieve my goal what was that major turning point that gave you a you run from the way to get the goal where you are right now oh, okay miss i'm going to explain a little bit of ways okay uh especially during this covid 19 pandemic there are many uh yeah many limitations or problems but my goal is how to achieve something uh, highest or maybe biggest from this, uh, from this, uh, from from now. So, hopefully, uh, as a professional trainer, hopefully that I can conduct offline uh, trainings in overseas after this COVID nineteen pandemic. But how to realize it? The first one is by charging my knowledge, by developing my skills, by building my networks by having more friends i think this is uh these are the steps how to get my 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 will in the future so hopefully in the yeah in the future i can collaborate with many international semi uh, international trainers come from different countries and the trainings can be conducted offline and how to develop my skills uh, as a I am a hypnotherapist okay these skills is the basic one for a professional speaker or trainer because we, we must be able to know more about our life our identity so after knowing about our identity we can know about the other's identity how to solve the problem especially by having personal problem so this is the process, how to charge, how to manage this, so we can get the solution. So hopefully that after joining many international webinars as a professional speaker, I think this is not the last choice, but I think this is the first step. This is the first process, how to develop it. I still have many times and process to develop my skills, to collaborate with many trainers, to learn from many experts. So I combine it as a process to develop my skills. In the future, I would like to, to realize, I would like to achieve the biggest thing in my life. The first one is to realize about the happiness, but how to make it as a happiness? The first one is by realizing my goals. 
So like I said before, hopefully after this COVID-19 pandemic, I can conduct many trainings offline and then still have more times to have uh, more friends from many countries or from many background of lives. That's it. That's all, Miss. Wow. Hello. Thank Hello, you very much. But, okay. Very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, Back to our topic, you asked me about hypnotherapy, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Please, go ahead. I can start. Okay. The first one is, uh, if you want to know more about the hypnotherapy, the first one is by understanding the definition. Mm -hmm. So, how uh, hypnotherapy is a combination of modern psychotherapy techniques and guide hypnosis in which a clinical hypnotherapist leads you to address like states to focus and concentration to overcome mental and physical conditions. It means if you have a mental and physical conditions, we must be able to get the solution. The first one is by controlling our emotions to something or to someone. And the next one is um, hypnosis or trance is an altered state of awareness, like a very relaxing and enjoyable experience, just like being deep in relaxations and then perhaps while well, having massage. So when you are going to the salon and then get a massage, this is also one of the process of the hypnotherapy. And and the next one is where the analytical and rationalism mind can be bypassed and then allowing the mind to focus on and then become much more receptive to be beneficial suggestions for hypnotherapy will be taking place when you accept the uh, when you accept the what say suggestions okay if someone suggests you, it means you must be able to follow the rules. If you reject the suggestions, it means hypnotherapy doesn't take place or the hypnotherapy is not able to take place. And uh, in our daily life, for example, when we go and, and, and then go out transnaturally and then it feels very much like dreaming, when you are dreaming, okay, for example, example, and then similarly in therapy, uh, you will remain completely in control. Nobody can make you do anything you don't want to. It means there is no one, okay, there is no person can control yourself because the problem and the essence, how to get the hypnotherapy is based on your effort. Your subconscious mind will simply reject and suggestion that is not in your best interest. I have many experience uh, to manage the emotions of my friends to solve their problem by conducting hypnotherapy. I think it's very helpful besides our uh, the medical yeah medical system given by the doctor or the nurse and etc by uh, going to the hospital. So hypnotherapy and that medical medical system must be must be combined each other so it it's very beneficial for us to solve our problem especially related to our emotion i think that's all about hypnotherapy miss okay wonderful very nice and the next one i want to start that hypnotherapy is a natural and gentle way using hypnosis and modern psychotherapy and you can do self hypnosis it means when you go to the beach when you are in the you are okay you can uh, conduct self hypnosis how to uh, to manage your mind how to solve your problem how to minimize your emotions how to solve everything you have uh, you have to make it uh, lost from yourself yes hello hello miss yes hello Jody, Jody, uh, can you hear us yes okay roxana asmin please go ahead yes yes uh, Mr. Radhi, Radhi Salam, my question to you. Yes. How do yes. how do you use high hypnotherapy in clients? How do you use hypnotherapy in clients, and what what benefits do you get from using it? Once do you hear me? How do you use hypnotherapy in clients, and what benefits do you get from using it? Hello. I think, uh, Huma, uh, I think you repeat this question. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Um, uh, Mr. Rodi, can you hear me clearly? Mr. Rodi? 
मैम Sure, numerous movies or done the great job paintings. For example, of course, picture of Brett just dumbling. So um, I'm going to explain one by one. Um, uh, there are five ways to help your target target audience understand better how hypnotherapy uh, can improve their physical or psycholog psychological and emotional well be well being. The first one is uh, by focusing on a core issue. It means um, hypnotherapy is a unique therapy. Why? Because uh it yes. can help you to lose to lose your weight loss nicotine addictions anxiety and stress it depends on the cases uh, from your clients right and so next time you can sit down to blow or blog about your practice or maybe it is you must be able to think, think up of a topic and the next one is don't miss a question so what is the function, for example, when posting hypnotherapies or maybe to do uh, hypnotherapies, it means you must be able to question your clients, for example, about his or her background of life, background of the problem, background of amenities. And the next one is offer something value. What is the benefit? So because like this one, the techniques, uh, every message which you send uh, out for offer something of value, to your recipients or your clients, it could be a sort of audio recording or maybe it can you do uh, directly when you are talking about something to your client. And the next one is um, how to understand the, or say, the, the core of the problem. By knowing the core of the problem, it means you must be able to know more about the solutions. And what is the benefit, right? What is the benefit by doing the hypnotherapy? As I know that hypnotherapy is not the only one of ways to solve the problem, but the benefits is we are not going to use the medicine, but we are we are we are going to conduct or to realize or to practice by using the psychological system. We might we must be able to comprehend to the psychological. So it means. We must be able to understand the conditions of our client, what is the problem, okay, how to solve, how to get the end of the problem. So when, when the work in hypnosis has been complete, the hypnotherapist will re-alert or wake up the, to the client, although they weren't actually asleep. So hypnotherapy, this is not sleep. But how with the hypnotherapist usually or one piece, the client about their experience during hypnosis, not ask for performance feedback. So they will usually check in with, you know, with how the client is feeling about the presenting issue and may book them in for another session. It means you, you and your client must be close to each other. So if your client doesn't believe in you, it means hypnotherapy cannot be running well. So the first one is by having the same understanding, your clients uh, trust in you. And so we can make it and then we conduct the hypnotherapy. So the, the benefits is, I think, uh, it's very simple, I think, and, and also it's not very, uh, very hard to conduct because hypnotherapy itself have many benefits from another techniques. I think that's all miss. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. It's wow. wonderful and uh, it's a very unique job and I think you are a unique man. Uh, my another question to you. Rudi Salam, yes. do you hear me? My yes. another question yes. to you. How do you evaluate your clients using hypnotherapy? Once again, Miss. How do you evaluate your clients using hypnotherapy? Oh, thank okay. you. How to evaluate, right? Yes, yes. During yeah. uh, doing the hypnotherapy. Okay, yes. the end of the system is rapper. Okay, the end of the system is rapper. So how to know is it true or not? We can see from the gesture. 
we can see from the process. So the rapid the rapid building is when we conduct the hypnotherapy and we see the process. We see the process. Is it correlated each other or not? Is it uh, is it uh, or, or no no? Is our client is serious or not? So how about the problem? How about the process? How about the feelings of our client? So, uh, for example, when conducting hypnotherapy, it means we go to the to the I would say to to the process of how to heal or how to know more deeply about the situation or condition of our client. So, how to evaluate by having uh, uh, building rapport? It means from this result, we know how to solve the problem. Like I said before, there is no hypnotherapy. Eh, no, no, uh, hypnotherapy doesn't work, work well when your clients doesn't believe you, doesn't believe in you. So uh, my, one of uh, between hypnotherapists and the client, there must be the same uh, same understanding or uh, must be able to uh, to trust each other because hypnotherapy is a trust. If you don't trust your hypnotherapist, so hypnotherapy doesn't work work well. Okay, so thank you, you thank you so much, oh, thank you so much, you. Thank you so much. You, said, you said that hypnotherapy is a trust, right? If you don't have a trust, so you cannot get the benefit yes. from this. The yeah. essence of hypnotherapy is trust. If you never trust your hypnotherapist, so the process of the hypnotherapist never runs well. Runs well. Yes. Yes. So I want to know one thing that uh, uh, can you please share some of your case history which uh, was very worthwhile in your profession life? Mm -hmm. If you want to share with us. Once again, Miss? I want to know about some case history, any single case history you have solved completely, which was a okay. worthwhile. Yeah. The first yes. one I have, okay, I have uh, conducted a hypnotherapy, like anxiety, okay, anxiety and then drugs, okay, uh, and then uh, what is it? Um, personal problems, okay, personal problems, and then the greatest problem. So, hypnotherapy, okay, tends to be considered a brief strategy. So, you must be able to give the solutions and goal focus. For example, Miss, uh, to whom I speak now, Miss, our moderator? Yes, yes, please. Yes, you are audible. Please go ahead. What's your name, Miss? Humasha. Russia. Oh, okay. Can... I want to test hypnotherapy online. Okay. Do you want to practice? Yes, we, we are very glad okay. if you want to your share pen? your experience with us. Where is your friend? <laughs> We're your pen, sorry? please show to me your pen, pen. Pen? Yes. You <laughs> have no time. No, okay, no. I can contact hypnotherapy online. Pen, miss, where is your pen like this one? Okay. We make our demonstrations. Do you want? Okay, miss. Do you want to practice hypnotherapy? Miss Moderator? Yes, yes, I can hear yes, you. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Put your pen like this one. Sorry, I didn't hear again. Put your pen like this one. I want to measure your focus. Okay? Already, Miss? Put your pen like this one. Where's your pen? Umaji, hold your pen like yeah, 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 yeah. Rudy's name is holding. Hold your pen like I make. Okay. I want to measure your focus. Okay? Okay. Okay. I want to practice by doing it online. Okay? Hold your pen like this one. Okay? Next. Just focus on your pen. Just focus on your pen. Look at up your pen. Okay? Okay. Okay, when I count one, two, three, four, five, six, you bring and then push, okay? 
Okay, miss? Okay, just a little bit slowly, right? Okay, I count. Just focus to see your pen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. If you are focusing now, look it up your pen. You're holding on. Okay, focus to see the pen. It means the core of your uh, seeing is pen. So everything is not clear. Just focus on your pen. Can you deeper? Where are you, miss? I try to focus completely on the pen. Okay, just focus. Just focus to see your pen. Open your camera so I can see. Just focus to see your pen. Okay, so you can see clearly your pen and everything is, everything in the surrounding of the pen is not clear. Please try. Focus to yeah, see your pen. You can, you can make it. Yes. So it yeah. means, okay, let's start one second. Every participant, just hold your pen. Okay, this is not a magic, yeah? This is not a magic, but this is our exercise, how to develop our hypnotherapy. Have you done it, please? Your camera, please. While completely focusing on the pen, the yeah, focusing on the pen. Yeah, the surrounding yeah. items are getting blurred in my vision. Yes, everything in the sur surrounding is blurred, but you can see the pen clearly, right? Yeah, I can see the pen. It means, it means you can be able to focus on your thing. So what is the benefits is, if you are a teacher, if you are a teacher in the classroom, Never start your learning process before your students are not focusing or focusing on. Oh. So you can start your teaching process after your students can focus on yourself. What is the simple way? The simple way by holding a pen. I think it's very it's very uh, wonderful if I conduct. Offline, offline class, yeah, because this is an online practice. But when I conduct offline practice, I think it's very awesome. Okay, my question is, uh, who can see that the pen is clear and everything in the surrounding is blurred? I have seen and I answered you also. I have okay, yes. so there it is. you already practice, miss? Yes, yes. Okay. Ma'am, you already, ma'am, you already practice? Yes, I already practice. It means like this one. Never start doing something before you can focus on yourself. Never do anything before you can focus on yourself. So what is the benefit? Is if you are not focusing on yourself, it means there is the benefit to do something because by having focusing on your ourselves, it means we can do anything in our life. Especially in the classroom, a teacher must be able to measure the seriousness of the, the students before joining the class. I think this is the simple way that I can explain because this is an online activity. It's very different just doing an online activity. Yeah. But Humasha, uh, for early childhood education, uh, we cannot apply this if we focus on our teaching whole thing and the children is going on and on and Miss. here and there Miss. and they play something. Miss. So, yes. Okay, we can practice at the, uh, on the educational system, yeah? We can, we can apply. I have applied in my classroom so especially for the learning process we can okay. apply hypno teaching okay. it's a complete you know it's a complete uh, topic uh, it's a complete uh, subject uh, and it's 
teacher you can yes thank you very much mr roddy you yes, have we can we can focus and after understand all you. things yes you are right those actually he is just trying to give some sort of example in the class and the field of hypnotherapy uh, that yes yes you are right huma uh, yeah. he is talking about focus learning you can yeah, say just saying about the focusing that how can Just we learning. focus yes ha oh, yes how can we focus on our goals yes. yeah this is something thank you rudi sharma thank you okay as the include the as the conclusions of my hypnotherapy explanation that different clients and issues respond to hypnotherapy at different speeds okay the level of the hypnotherapy there are three levels Uh, slow slow intermediate and fast so every person okay has different types of hypnotherapy speeds so a hypnotherapy approach might involve just one session or a number of sessions in order to reach a satisfactory conclusion furthermore as a therapy progress further issues or deeper issues may arise which the client may, may, uh, may not have been consciously aware of initially it means different person different result or different process like i made before this is an example how to conduct hypnotherapy as simple as i make it to you especially by doing it online so never do something okay the conclusion never do do, do something be, before you can focus on yourself in the classroom especially okay never teach your students before your students don't focus on your subject so um this is the why uh, this is why professional or effective hypnotherapist will check at the start of each session how to know about the condition and then what the client's overall goals are and establish the goals for that session it means you must be able to know what is his will what is her will so you are a, you are an ex expert you are like a driver and then you have a passenger okay you have a bus driver and you have a uh, you have a passenger it means you can drive okay or give the solution give the directions according to your clients your clients must be able to follow your direction that is the concept of hypnotherapy so like i say uh, hypnotherapy doesn't work well where is where where there is no trust so trust is the essence of hypnotherapy if you don't trust your hypnotherapist it means hypnotherapy doesn't work well oh, wonderful thank you so much mr roddy for your <laughs> brief answer uh, inga jeer please yes dear very very interesting uh, answer thank you very much mr rudi uh, i really proud of you thank you uh, i uh, have not question i really uh, uh, today is uh, um, uh, i think very interesting session thank you very much uh, i wish you good luck keep up a wonderful job thank you okay thank you very much uh, mr rodi i want to ask you the question and uh, uh, by ending the session there there is going to be the last questions almost so my question is regarding the educational background that uh, due to the pandemic situation you have also seen so much crisis and issues regarding the students education and uh, our educational fees uh, field served and sacrificed so many classes uh, during that pandemic issues right so my question is to you that what's the biggest challenge in the field of education you have faced in your life what is again miss the question oh my god okay my question is that um in the educational field as a lecturer what the biggest challenge and the biggest challenge right now in the field of education you have faced okay uh, the biggest challenge during the covid-19 pandemic is about how to teach to teach online okay as we know i'm not in jakarta as the capital city of indonesia but i live in one of the province of indonesia medan city okay uh, my campus Uh, lo is located in the Medan city okay but during this covid-19 pandemic every student goes by town so the problem is the first one about the internet connection 
when I conduct Zoom meetings, okay, Zoom meetings, so not every student can join our program. So how to teach them? Maybe only 50% from the students, number of the students can join my program. So how to help them? The first one is, I'm very hard, okay, it's very hard for me to do the online system. The first one is by conducting the learning process through Zoom applications. And the next one, editing the videos and then preparing the tasks, preparing the materials and then post on, on the websites. So this is my greatest challenge. How, how to know more because we have at the different distance. So how to make it or to make the learning process run as well. This is my responsibility, how to maximize my efforts. So, uh, about uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic, about the technology mastery, about the connection, uh, internet connections, about the facility. I think this is the biggest problem because not every student from my campus is a rich person. So how to understand, sometimes I can send the, the assignment through WhatsApp, through uh, email, and then through, uh, by having online classroom via what's, uh, uh, Zoom applications, I think, it's very hard for me, or maybe this is the greatest problem for me, to present the learning process to my students. Hello, Miss. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for your answer. Thank you. If anyone of the participant wants to ask something, so they can... Okay, so Mr. Roji, I want to ask you the last question. Uh, that's not you can say the question. I want to just to, that if you want to give some advice to our listeners uh, right now, listening to you on the Zoom and following you on the Facebook Live, some tips and tricks for their future also, and also the most interesting trend of 2021, which is, which is going right now regarding educational field, any professional field. Uh, what advice or any tips and tricks you can give to your listeners? Okay, my advice for, from me, I think it's very simple. A good teacher or a good trainer is a good learner. Why? As a good trainer, our responsibility is to keep learning. So we are not perfect yet. So we are going to develop our skills by learning by collaborating with each other, by building our networks, by reading many more. So this is our responsibility to touch or to enlarge or maybe to enrich our knowledge. So by having more knowledge, we can develop our skills and these skills can be shared, can be delivered to our friends or all the peoples in our surrounding. By having good communications, we can interact each other from many countries from many backgrounds of life. So let's make uh, this, uh, these steps as the keys to develop our skills. I know that not everybody is perfect, but how to develop, how to maximize our potentials, this is our responsibility. By having, a pot by having potentials in our life, let's start, let's develop it because our potential is our strength. Even though we have the weakness, I think this is not the problem. But by knowing our weakness, we try to develop our skills. We can collaborate with each other. We can learn from others. And then we can share everything we, we know and then share to our friends. So by knowing all the systems, all the elements in our life, for example, we can solve the problem. When we have the problems in our life, we can help us or maybe help our friends that have the biggest problem in their lives. I think uh, success is a process, like I underlined before, success is a process. And so success never be ending. Success can be achieved every time. When we need something, when we want to achieve something, after achieving that step, I think this is our true success. So success is not only the words, success is a realization of our dreams or our will, so we can get it directly. I think that's all, Miss. Wow, oh, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Roddy. You have explained very, very well. Uh, you have taught uh, us about the success, about the positivity, and also you have given us a very unique and different, you can say a magic or a playing with the pants, focusing, vision, 
definitely it will gonna be help for all of our listeners and followers also uh, we really want to wish you a very very good luck we had a very great time with you and thank you so so very much for your precious time for giving your time with the platform on our platform and uh, global trainer academy welcomes you always and thank you so very much for joining us and believing us and give your time in a very crisis of internet issue as well thank you so Even so much electricity is off right now <laughs> thank you very much thank you so very much we are very very glad to have you on our platform thank you dear inka thank you very much really dear <laughs> Yeah, you are right, Uma dear. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear Narudi. Uh, yes, a really wonderful session. I wish you good luck, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. You are. Thank you, uh, thank you, Miss uh, Inga Harkilawa for yeah. inviting me. It uh, has been a wonderful session, and I'm always there. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Dear yeah, Mr. Rudi Salam, uh, you are so confident. You are very good at speaking. So after the um, interesting section, yes, uh, Vietnamese teacher uh, am I? I will try my best to apply the way yes to my at my teaching. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you all. Like this one, maybe yeah. if we have That's an good. online workshop, we can do many things. But this is a webinar, right? So if we have an online workshop, we can practice, we can train, but this is a webinar. So I must be able to give the theory, but for online workshop, we can do it by ourselves, by training each other. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. I've been applying as, as, as a way to my uh, job and my teaching. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear Tran. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. To all of you for joining us, listening us, and giving us your uh, kind words and precious time. And in our academy, thank you very much. Now we are going to conclude our program. Okay, dear Inka. Definitely, Huma. Uh, we are always there with you. You are a such a wonderful soul. We are always with you. Thank you. Not much. only me, my my all the team of positive thought is always there. Thank you very much for your positivity and uh, okay. आपके साथ का बहुत शुक्रिया मिस्टर गौरव. Thank you very much all of you. हमारी खुश किस्मती है. जी हमारे लिए हमारी भी खुश किस्मती है. बहुत बहुत आपका जो है वो शुक्रिया कि आप हमारे साथ होते हैं और हमें सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं और यही सपोर्ट हमें आगे लेकर चलेगी इस बार. Definitely we are together always and we will be together always. Positivity always spread vibrations all across, right? Exactly. Okay. Stay Thank blessed. you very much, Mr. Rodi. Thank you very much, Mr. Rodi. See you uh, soon. Okay. We are all of you. Good bye. Good evening. Good bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Thank Rodi. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I learned a lot, sir. Mr. Akas, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Are you Am I audible? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, your uh, time. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rudi Salam, and thanks, uh, special thanks for Mr. Uh, Dr. Gaurav Sharma and all our uh, participants today. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, thanks again. And uh, I think uh, uh, we are very soon. Uh, we will uh, conduct another session and um, see you again all. Thank you very much and bye. Thank you, Mr. Akash. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Gora Sharwa. Thank you, everyone. All of you. <laughs>